Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel where today we're going to be working in the um, a new journal. I introduced it in my shorts. I think this is a um, Sunflowers Indoors uh, guest design uh, project and I'm working in the bees and I will put the actual name of the kit in the description box because right now it escapes me so this is going to be part of my cover and um, we're going this is burnt umber white golden fluid acrylics with a little bit of burnt umber acrylic ink and so and then this is white gesso homemade this is a DIY this is white acrylic paint with Dollar Tree baby powder and some uh, Mod Podge. Okay, so that's homemade. So this is the first of two series. Of course, this is a design team project. And I got my inspiration um, from Cara Renee's Be Reborn Art and Healing. So basically what I'm going to do is just paint this in the burnt umber. And then once it dries... We're going to go over it with a couple of other colors. So if um, you guys want a more professional view of this, then I would encourage you to go over to her channel and see how she does it. But basically that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to stop the camera here and then I'm going to go ahead and get this painted. And then when we come back, we're going to do the next step, which is look at, I've got to print a kit, and I want to show you the kit. I kind of messed up when I first started, but it's never a mistake, really, because now I can go and I can use my, my misprints as um, ephemera. So I was looking at the cover of this, and I was thinking what I might do on this one. Yeah, this is just not, I don't think this is dark enough, but by the time we get done, it will be. I think she used the Nickel Azo Gold, and that's probably what I should have used, but I went with Burnt Umber. The Nickel Azo Gold has more of a, to me, of an orange tone right there. But mine was uh, Kina Cardone as a go and it might be a different one. So that's why I went with the Burnt Umber light. So there you go. Anyhow, I'm going to add a few more colors to this as we get moving and, and whatnot. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to finish this off camera and then we'll come back to the painted dried version. All right, guys, this is fantastic. Oh, Lord, I love it. I love it. I love it. So, ah, I can't even tell you. I went with Burnt Sienna, the uh, uh, Kina, Kina Crotone. Azo Gold, Burnt Sienna, and then of course the uh, Burnt Umber Light on the bottom. And then I went in with the Burnt Umber Acrylic Ink. And then I just dripped it on there and darkened up some of the spots. And then I went back with the, the, the Quina, Quina Crodone. But now I'm going to do... Uh, you know, I want to try the Indian Hue... This guy. India, India yellow hue. I want to try this and I want to do the smooshing technique like Kara did with just a little tiny bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and lightly hit because I wanted it to be like, I don't know, different, gold, beautiful. Um, honey like you know what I mean like I know it's fall colors but I'm such a fan of grunge 
and Kara Renee, I'm a fan of yours. And Sunflowers and Doors, Mandy, I'm a fan of yours too, you guys, you guys, you guys. So there is that. Oh, this is such a cool technique. This is such a cool technique, guys. You gotta, you gotta try it. Um, oh my god, Becky, look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in later once it dries. I've got to do right now my die cuts and I'm gonna dig through my stuff and I'm gonna get some honeycomb die cuts and then I'm gonna do those um, I don't know what color I'm gonna do those I'm gonna try to match it up with a honey color and then when I'm all done I'm gonna go in oh Lord have mercy I'm trying to figure out if I want the iridescent gold fine because it's a light gold or do I want the iridescent? I think I might go with the bronze, guys. I think I might go with the bronze. Did I open it up all the way? No. So I'm just going to squirt a tiny bit out right here. And I'll show you why I want to go with that color. Oh, my God. This is too much fun. Okay? If you have not done this, you need to do this. Yeah. I want to go with the bronze. Look at that. Jeez Louise. I mean, it just definitely changes up. Uh, and I'm such a fan of grunge. I'm going to go along the edge a little more. Maybe I don't want that much there. I do want to go along the edges. Because this is going to be part of my, my cover. So I want the, you know, I want this piece to stand out. Oh my god, I hope you guys will try this. Look at that. Look at that. No wonder people do this. No flipping wonder. Oh my god. So I may come back in and put a little more of that bronze on there. <sighs> I'm in love. This is going to be probably one of the grungiest nicest covers I've ever made. So after this, I'm going after some serious steampunk. I'm not, I don't, I'll be honest with you, when I'm doing steampunk, I'm not a fan of the ladies. Sorry gals, but I just like it to be uh, gears and junk, you know, um, grungy metal balloons, trains, all of that. So look at that. I had no idea. I was afraid of this, guys. I was totally afraid of this. But now, not so much. Okay, so next up is going to be our um, die cut beehives. And then I think I want to put a little cheesecloth on it. And then I want to put one of the the um, clusters that came with the kit on it. So, But next up, I'm definitely going to show you guys the kit. And then each week we'll be attending to something like this until the journal's done. And I want to figure the end of January the journal should be finished with my fingers crossed. So I'm because I'm doing a lot of different projects. But here we go. All right, guys, we are still working in the Grungy Bee Journal. And I've got to get the name of this. Um, and I'll post it before or I'll get the name of it before I post it but it is a sunflowers and doors um, kit and I have already cut mine out not that one but I've already cut it out and then I reprinted reprinted it a couple more times um, the pages exactly so I have enough signatures. Okay, so I already did that, but let me show you what you're getting. All right, these are the actual pages. And then what I'm doing is I'm um, using my alcohol inks. And I'm just going through and I'm kind of um, spraying them so that they're not white. And then I'll go through and 
I'll um, fussy cut them, right? And then, not fussy cut them, but trim them so that they fit nice. And that's what I'll do to each each one of them. And I'll just spray them until I'm okay with them, so they match the front pretty good. And I might come in with some like a coffee colored to mix in there too. All right, so let's look at what we're getting. Let's go through each of the pages and each piece of ephemera. So here we go. And this is really pretty. And this is how I got the, the color scheme for my cover, basically. It's got white and cut white and gold and bronze and um, this is just a mix of colors and then um, burnt sienna, burnt umber, all different colors and then I even went in with a little bit of orange to put on the B. So that I just, oh, I was going to film all of this and then I just got completely carried away. This is creepy cloth from the Dollar Tree. And for not filming that, guys, I apologize. Okay, so here's more of the pages. And like I said, I'll go in and spray and stamp. And um, I don't like that stark white. And there we go. Love the bees. Love this. In this gorgeous very very nice so on these lighter pages what I may do is um, spray this but put one of these images you know embellished with the image and then I ran out of my matte water not matte photo paper so when I when I when that new batch comes in I'll print more I have some but not all so this is everything you get and this kind of got trunked off but it's okay because I still have more this just gorgeous I love it here's all of the tags the pockets. The tags. And then these are clusters. And this one is the one I actually put on the front. I just love it. And I definitely have ideas for all of this. And here's pockets. More tags. Tabs. Wheel tail tabs. And I have a whale tail tab punch coming. Um, it was an Amazon buy. So when it gets here, I'll probably just use it to punch out images. And then here's our words in our circles. Okay. So um, these are just off cuts, or off misprints from another kit. I don't like to waste, especially when this this is. Um, presentation paper it's a little it's a little nicer paper than I'm normally used to oh, look 1964 there's my birth year yep 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 so anyhow I'm gonna go through like I said and um, alcohol ink the pages and I really got to get um, a caramel color or a coffee dye color because I want the paper to be grungy as well so that's where I'm at that's what I'm doing and you guys saw the first stages of the this is just corrugated cardboard and then I went in with the different colors of fluid acrylic paints thank you Kara Renee for pointing those colors out <clears throat> and then I went and I filled it with I did this with the homemade DIY texture paste and then I mixed guys I just I mixed you know I just mixed colors until I got a color I was happy with 
and then the, like I said this is the creepy paper and what I did was I dipped because I wanted it stiff and sticky I dipped it into the Liquitex matte medium and then that burnt sienna mixture that I made for this uh, initial um, you'll see it in the very very first in the very very easy for me to say very beginning of the video and then I went over it with the bronze and like I said splashed it with some white and some black and uh, gold and that's where we're at here this to me looked a little weird I don't know what happened there but I think I'm gonna put a book plate there and um, let me show you what I'm talking about I gotta find them they're in one of my drawers here <clears throat> so I'm thinking about putting a book plate over that is what I'm thinking about doing because it's in the bronze I just gotta find one yeah that one will fit like that I don't think I had any <clears throat> I do have these but I don't know if they're big enough that might be big enough look at that okay so I may put that on there in fact I think I will put that on there with these and I have some look at the paper clips these will be perfect for this but I'll bring those out um, closer to the time we're done this is Hod Podge hardware from Stampin Up so that's where that came from those were a gift but yeah I think I'm gonna I think I'm going to stamp out the words journal. Oh, no, 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 uh, no, 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 no. Let's see if look. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, queen bee. Queen bee. There we go. It's gonna be. Queen bee, but then I'll put I'll um I'll print that so it, you know outline it. That's what I'm trying to say. Trace it so I know whoops oh shoot why oh, mess that up? Well it's not gonna be let's just do honey bee. It's a little bit bigger a word anyhow. Right there. So I'll have to fill that in in a little bit there, but I think what I'll do is just ink it. Ooh, look, ed edgy. <laughs> that might be fun too. But no, I think we're just going to go with Honeybee. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So that will go on here. And then, like I said, I will grunge that up so it all looks the way it should look. And we'll get that loaded. And again, I've already cut this kit out once. So the only thing that I'm really going to mess with currently is uh oh did I screw that up no I didn't I just need to I need to I need to get one of these go around the outside edge and I'll tell you why because I didn't trim that right I should have given it extra space all right so let's do that and then when we come back because this is going to be my first video I don't want it too long and I had already done 
a few minis. So we're going to end here and in the next video you'll see where I finish this and attach it to here and then I get the the signatures will be ready. Okay. All right guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.